Hi champs, how's it going? Today was Monday the 9th of July and this is also about Sunday the 8th of July because I had a day off both days and obviously on Sunday I was just a bit too relaxed, didn't do anything so I didn't make a talking video either. <clears throat> I got a bit more productive today. I would say at least I did some chores or something, not too sure. I did do two streams today though. I did one in the morning and then I did one in the middle of the day. The first stream got eight views, no likes, went for 30 minutes. And then the day stream, 18 views, 16 likes, and I went for an hour 48. So I went in um, in the morning, I think I went in like my own hashtag. And then in the lunchtime I went in cooking <laughs> because I did like I streamed my lunch and everything else because we did quite a bit of stuff in the middle of the day oh yay I did a yawn I'm not in the house so I'm not in trouble I'm getting good at not yawning in the house so I didn't have to obviously edit anything today but I would have edited something on Sunday because I did do a talking video on Saturday. The weather was really nice today. The sun came out. It's still cold. It's the middle of winter. So yeah, it's cold. But the sun came out, so that was good. Didn't make a song today or yesterday. Basically what I'm waiting on is lyrics. So I just haven't made any for ages. I picked a song of the day though, every day. That's one thing I am keeping up on, which is good. I think I've got, I think I'm good at that. So yeah, um, so today's song of the day was The Fink's Body Language, and it's a really, really laid back, that's not the right word though, it's very, very chill. Chill's a good word to describe it. It's very chill. So yeah, I definitely was in a chill mood. And yesterday's song of the day was by The Nectars, called Don't Panic. I think it's a good one by them and definitely was what I was relating to at that moment. So one thing I did do today and that's um, I put my new wheels on my on my skateboard because obviously I've had a day off so I had time to do that sort of stuff. So I, I did that. It's good because bearings were getting a bit like not really working too well. That's the main reason I did it. I also needed to tighten my trucks a bit. So that got done and I got some new and uh, new bearings and new wheels. So I've had the wheel I've had the wheels since I got the skateboard. So I don't know how old the skateboard is, like the deck. But I haven't needed to put the wheels on and it was sort of the wheels weren't too bad. They were getting a little bit small, so it was more the bearings. The best thing today was that we um made the lounge room a bit nicer, so we brought in a better TV cabinet thing for the PlayStation and there's a printer there. There were some shelves for, the, for all that stuff so it's really cool and it looks good with the wall as well. It's the same colour as the wall whereas we, before we had this, this old desk that was actually warped in the middle. Oh, and the other thing that was good today was sleeping in because I had a day off, so I actually slept in a little bit. My cats weren't in my room, actually. Like, Tiger's never in my room when I sleep. Kitty wasn't either, so they woke me up in the morning. They actually bang on the door to wake me up. So they woke me up, I let the cats in my room, and then I went back to sleep, and then I fed them a bit late. Okay, this is a part of the exhibition that I actually paid attention to, quite a bit of attention, which makes which I didn't realize I wasn't paying attention to the rest of the exhibition until I've been looking at this catalog. So the section that I paid attention to was things as they are. So sort of pop art type stuff. I guess I've been, I don't know, pop art kind of was one that I did pay a bit of attention to any time I was like looking into art and studying art and things like that. So this one by Jasper Johns, I do remember it been wanting to do pieces I do remember. So that's the piece. I'm quite familiar with Jasper Johns. 
I know a bit about him. This one's called Maps, and it was from 1961. And obviously, it's of um, all the states. Actually, when I saw this in the exhibition, I didn't actually. It didn't actually click to me. It was by Jasper Johns. Didn't really think about that. I remember looking at it and going, mm, "States," <laughs> but I didn't like think, "Oh, that's Jasper Johns." Like some other artists would be like, "Oh, that's that artist." It's about national identity for Americans and just the situation at the time where the U.S. was um, being glo- increasing global dominance, the tensions and flexing. So the way he painted the map. So what it said, like the boundary, like the different boundaries between the different states are like smudged out, kind of painted out. Yeah, he was just interested in the whole, you know, visual aspect of maps. And that's what he was painting there. He was interested in the mundane and flatness. So yeah, that's cool. Interesting. All right, so that's my video for these two weekend days back to work tomorrow but you know it's not so bad I was telling myself that anyway today I bought glasses I forgot to mention that I bought some glasses so I finally got glasses so normally normally I drink if I've got a drink I'll drink it out of like mugs so I should get some glasses so I did but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow because this is a daily thing so I'll make a video have a good one wherever you are, day or night, catch you later.